action. What we have here is failure to insulate. <laughs> so this is what happens. Actually, it's been really cold. It's been down in the teens a few days in a row and then in the 20s. So we busted this pipe. I just got to temporarily fix it for right now so we could have water again. Yay. We've been living out of the totes for the last, what, four days now, three days? Yeah, it's been fun hauling five gallons. All right, of so let's get to it. Okay. Hey, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> well, we just kind of doing this uh, off the cuff. It's been a pretty hard last couple, two or three weeks here on the homestead, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Yes, it has. So, as you can tell from the title, you know, we've we both had COVID. That's what it, it all started out as. Yeah. Uh, we were in the middle of putting a roof up on the house, and um, we both got pretty sick there. Yeah, I um, brought it home, unfortunately, from work, and of course, if I get something, he gets something, and you yeah. know, but anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, tested, tested uh, positive for COVID, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the cool thing is, though, it wasn't really that hard on us. I mean, we, we got away with really kind of medium symptoms, like a light case of the flu is it, what it felt like. Yeah, mine... When I had it, it felt like more of a head cold, kind of a sinus pressure in my head and my ears. But the first day was a massive headache and, and a low grade fever and that was it for a couple of days and I was good for the rest of the time. Yeah, I pretty much the same thing and then I was just extremely uh, like worn out. I had no energy You know, I'm still trying to go out to the house. We, we, we've got so many projects. I really needed to get back on the road. You know, I've been home since November 1st and here, you know, was coming up on February at the time and it's, that was my deadline. I had to be out of the house uh, by, by about February 1st so we can, you know, we kind of, we kind of are paying as we go with building the house. So we get some money together, we come home, we work on the house, run law and cash, then we go back out on the road. So anyway, we were both feeling a little bit better. Uh, you know, uh, what 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 was the date on that? Oh my gosh, I don't know. It, the last few weeks, it seems to be a blur. Um, at the end of January, when everything started, I think, maybe the 27th of January, I think, because it's February 8th. It was the 27th. <laughs> it was the 27th. Yeah. Oh, I was right. <laughs> so, um, you know, I had I had Todd from. Uh, from building with Todd or pew pew with Todd. Mm -hmm. He was over here helping me do the roof and uh, we, we made uh, pretty good progress for yeah. the first day. We got about half of one side of the roof done. Right. And he was gonna come back the next non-windy day, but then the COVID happened. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so on the 27th, which was Thursday, that was about a week and a half ago, um, I'm feeling a little bit better. So we went out for a ride. Mm -hmm. We called it the COVID ride of, you know, 2022. And uh, we're on our way back home, and I'm just trying to uh, get to the back gate before Jill got there, so I could open the back gate for her. So such a gentleman. <laughs> I'm like I'm like 20 yards from the back fence, and I hit a rock, and I don't know it was only about like that big on my bike, but it caught it in such a way that it just it swooped mm -hmm. the front tire out from under me, and then just slammed me down on the ground. And well, I'll insert pictures of what happened here. But I broke both my tib and my fib. Um, had to go to emergency, and uh, I'm gonna be down now for seven uh, weeks. No, weeks. it it's it's eight weeks, but then there's also the rehab of the whole thing, so it could be yeah, up to up to about sixteen weeks. Hmm. So yeah, it's been really bad. Hmm. And then in the middle of all that, and then we started having all the freezing as well out here, and we had some busted pipes you know we've we've been doing pretty good with that but it you know, seems like it's a common occurrence no matter how thick i make the insulation on that we, we get the busted pipes so in the house we're doing it completely different everything's going to be underground yeah. nothing above ground unless it's in the house um but yeah so we finally we just had to wait it out through uh the freezing temps we'd had a uh, several days in the 19 degrees and then 20s and it's finally started to warm up enough to where 
I'm not so worried about it. So we went out there today. But yeah, when it rains and pours on a homestead, it rains and pours. Oh, yes. All right. So reconfigured my plumbing here, and now we are connected. What we've got to do now is turn the water back on at the big tank over there. And uh, start it up and see if it has any leaks. Should be good to go. Crash your fingers. And I'm real. We know, we, we try to be positive as much as we can. It all ends too, you know, it just all seems to mellow out eventually. But of course the hurt, first hurdle, you know, it's kind of hard to get over. Well, so this is this is devastating to us in, in a few ways. And one's obviously gonna be financially. So we don't normally try and reach out for help, but we're gonna put a, we're gonna put a link down in the description box. We're gonna go ahead and start a, a GoFundMe account. We're gonna have some, um, we're gonna have some expenses associated with the, with the break on my leg, my broken uh, ankle. And um, also I was supposed to be back to work on the first. So uh, of February so you know this is really gonna get us behind now I don't know how we're really gonna make it through this section but I, I know we'll get it figured out we always do but you know if 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 any of you out there feel inclined to help we sure would appreciate it yes please another way that we could use a little bit of help is I need to get that roof finished being on there before it gets ruined so if there's anybody out there again down in the description box I'll leave uh, my email address I know Todd from um, building with Todd said he would come out and give a hand too if there's anybody that's willing to come out and get up on the roof and to help us put those panels up I'm not gonna be able to get on the roof all I could do is uh, you know direct more or less so hey we appreciate you we love you guys we thank you for each and every one of your comments and your views yes yeah be safe and be well. Be safe and be well. And watch out. I mean, this is just a reminder of how, you know, you're just one step away from having your own tragedy on, on your homestead or, you know, so many things that we take for granted when you live in city life, you know, it's, you're that close to a hospital, you know, we're, we're 15 miles away, but then I had to go 70 miles away to go to an orthopedic surgeon to get my foot looked at. Fortunately, we didn't have to do surgery on it. Thank goodness. I'm but, glad. But was... then the water breaks. I mean, who do you call? You got to take care of all that stuff yourself, <laughs> you know? So we've been living out of a bucket, buckets of water for about four days or so or something yeah, like that. It's been fun. And then the COVID, <laughs> I think of, of all the things that had happened, I think the COVID was, I was, I was the most scared about, um, you know, knowing that I had it because you, you see all the horror stories and I'm not saying that those horror stories aren't real. I'm sure they're very much real. Uh, we were just fortunate in the way we got it. But you know, I took steps starting two years ago when this whole thing first started. I quit smoking two years ago. I quit drinking a year ago. And I've been, you know, taking vitamins and you know, all that sort of stuff, trying to eat a lot better. Um, just I wanted to give my body every chance that, you know, it could to survive something like that. and. You know, I'm just thankful that's all it was. Same here. All right, folks. Well, we'll keep you updated on what's happening here. And um, again, uh, let us know down in the description or down. Uh, send us an email, um, which will be in the description box. If uh, if you want to lend a hand, otherwise, you can go to the GoFundMe account. And uh, one other way you could help us out is just watch the videos and watch the commercials. The commercials is are how we get paid so which we don't get paid a lot but every little bit helps so yeah. you know just go to the bathroom during a commercial break or something even if you don't <laughs> like my video don't watch it go do yard work just let my channel run <laughs> there you go all right y'all we'll catch you on the next show see y'all soon peace peace out <laughs> yeah the water's finally running i can finally do some dishes <laughs>